Hi guys, um, we're back here for a very quick harvest. We're just setting up for it now. Um, I just uh, wanted to actually show you guys a few things, um, uh, but I'll get the harvest underway first. We're coming into, well, we're actually in autumn here in Australia. Um, and so what I wanted to do is I wanted to harvest this frame here. As you can see, it's, I know, sorry, the light's pretty ordinary here, but as you can see, that one's nice and ready to go. Um, and what I wanted to do is actually crack this frame open so you can actually see the mechanism of how it works and the fact that um, it doesn't actually really disturb the bees. So we'll do that first. Here we go. So there you go. Barely actually saw anything. Barely moved. That, this one's been um, fairly full for a while. Um, so as you can see, it's already coming out. I've only done half the frame at the moment, so what I might do is I might do the next portion of the frame in a second. Um, but we're coming into autumn here at the moment, guys, and um, really got to try and contemplate on what I'm actually going to do with these guys. I'm thinking I actually may take the supers off the flows and um, harvest all the honey out and um, actually uh, feed them over the winter to make sure they're nice and strong. We don't get a real, we get a fairly mild winter. In fact, I still get honey um, through my winter, so um, it's not bad where I am. But you can see here, these guys here, I hadn't properly set these um, cells in place. So they'd filled this portion of it up. Um, now I've fixed that up, they're filling that portion as well. Uh, over here, these guys are in shade. Wouldn't recommend it guys, I really wouldn't. I've had heaps of problems with pests with these little guys, but I've got another one here that's definitely ready to go. Um, these guys have actually started eating into some of the honey stores already, so I'm a little bit reluctant to... There we go, there's my lovely supply of ants. Um, but, uh, but yeah, these guys are actually starting to eat into their... Um, their store a little bit so I'm reluctant to sort of get too uh, much into them before um, before the winter hits um, these guys are doing really well as you can see nice strong hives so doing very well overall um, let's come back here we got looks like we've got some people some interested parties in the back here as we often do but that seems to be going through fairly well at the moment getting one buzzing around me at the moment which is never great when you're not wearing protective gear but as you can see that's what's happened to the to the flow frame there and then what we'll do is we'll just do those last ones and see whether, just see a slight move Absolutely no disturbance to the bees whatsoever, so um, I do love it. I've done one of these in my, some of my past videos and you actually saw a lot of leakage out of the sides, but these guys seem to have um, uh, capped those off really quite nicely. Um, so we should end up with a full bottle of, um, bottle of honey. So yeah, um, that's really all I wanted to do for you today, guys. So while that pl plugs away, um, what I'd say to you guys is, uh, Give me a shout out and tell me what you're going to do in um, in the winter if you're in the southern hemisphere. Love to hear what your plans are for your hives. Um, I know most of the Americans and the, and the northern hemisphere um, folks, beekeepers, they are um, coming into their fun time. So I'm nice. It's nice to be watching a lot of videos on swarms and those sorts of things. Um, don't expect any late sweet season swarms here, but I am going to get stuck into these guys and prepare them for winter shortly probably in the next month or so but um, yeah love to hear your comments guys uh, don't forget to like the video subscribe if, you, if you're interested um, but have a have a great day and enjoy your honey see you guys bye